In nearly 50% of the cases, patients lack sufficient jawbone to support implants. In short, no bone, no implant. The reason for this is that over time, the jawbone often thins out and loses its density. In the previous cases, we included the one where the upper jaw is too close to the sinus, which also requires bone grafting in the sinus area of the upper jaw. The procedure is called a sinus lift. The solution to the problem of missing bone is bone grafting. Bone is an expensive medical biomaterial. It's sourced by donors, animals, all from inorganic origin and is certified by a special methodology. It may sound strange at first, but it's also possible to source it from another part of your body. It takes about six months for the newly grafted bone to integrate with your existing one. This process delays the placement of any implants in the affected area as the risk of unsuccessful implantation during this period is rather high. Why does it happen? Most often, the reason is that after tooth loss, the bone becomes unused and gradually melts and thins out. Therefore, you should not delay implant placement. Various infections and diseases may also contribute to the negative process. Don't worry though. Bone grafting is a standard surgical procedure and its success is extremely high. The cost of the procedure usually varies according to the amount used, as it's difficult to control the manipulation. You'll have to trust the surgeon on this. Because bone loss is a common problem in dental restorations, scientists have invented a clever option for complete jaw restoration without the need for a bone graft. The procedure is called all on four or all on six. This is reconstructing a whole jaw of 10, 12, or 14 teeth placed on four or six implants, which can be loaded immediately. Here in Sophia Implant Center, we do this every day. We explain all the details of all in four in a separate post and video. 